Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And I'm here with my four-year-old son, Knox, and we're playing a game called The Disappearing Train that I learned from the wonderful Juanita Copley. And in this activity, all you will need are some blocks. I have some that stick together, so they're handy, but you can use any kind of blocks you have around the house to build a train that's 20 blocks long. And you need a die. And I'm using a special die today that has zero on it because I'm really working with Knox on understanding the concept of zero. All right, Knox, let's show them how to play the game. <gasps> what did you get? See you, Oh, okay. Oh, I you hate don't get to take any train cars. My turn. I hate What did I get? Two again? Two? I get to take two uh, and three one, of my done two, pile. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, 15, 14, 15, 15, 15 16, 17, 18. We 18, 18 left. Left. Okay, your turn. Okay, I hope I got a five. <gasps> you got five! Yes! Ah! So how many did you get to take off? One, two, three, four, five. Five, okay, mommy's yep. turn. Yep, <laughs> we're saying actually. I got two yeah. again. Two. That's my lucky number today. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah. turn, Knox. Give it a good spin. <gasps> one. Good, that one's off. Okay, put that in your done pile. That. My turn. <laughs> Five. Yep. One, two, three, three four, four, five. Ten. All right, whoever takes the last train car is the winner. It could be Knox this time. This one, is in your two, time. three, four, five. I will need a five. You really need a five. Give it a good spin. Give it a good spin. <gasps> yes, I won. <laughs> All right, Knox is the winner this time. We'll play again this and keep practicing. That process that Knox uses when he recognizes the pips without counting them is called subitizing. It's a great pre-counting skill and it's important for recognizing the amount in a set, a small set or something that has a pattern. Also, maybe you notice when Knox was counting each train car individually to try to know how many we had left, he got a little bit ahead of himself in his counting. That's why I grabbed his hand and helped him slow down a little bit to get the one-to-one -one correspondence, right? I hope you're having fun building math positive mindsets with your kids. Try the disappearing train. It's a lot of fun. Thanks.